we're going to do the same thing with the multiplying and dividing steps that we had before. So if I have A equals 3W and I'm going to solve it for W, what am I going to do with that 3? You're going to divide it by A? I'm going to divide the A by the 3, right? The 3 is going to go underneath. So A divided by 3 equals W. Exactly. And it is case sensitive, so when you type it in, you do have to type in the capital A. If it's lowercase, you'll type in lowercase, but if it's capital, they will want you to do it that way. So number eight. How about the fraction way that you do that you do your division? Do they want us to do it that way too? Um, they're not going to put a division sign. You have to do it as a fraction. Oh, okay. So. So that's what we did anyway. When except for when we had fractions. So number eight has h equals a over four. I want to solve it for a. So what do I need to do? So you're going to go a equals h times 4. And how do you show h times 4 in algebra? h 4 with the h in the parentheses? 4 with just the h right behind it. Right Don't behind need the parentheses, right? 4h okay. means 4 times h. Okay. We just put the number right in front of the letter. So number 9, if I want to solve that for M, what do I need to do with my G? Put it underneath your W. Exactly. I'm dividing that. And so M equals W over 